Hi guys. It is another dark and gloomy, soon to be stormy day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas here on this gray Thursday morning, May 3rd, 2018. So I got to decide what I feel like ranting or whining about or whatever I do on Thursday. Uh, while I'm making up my mind on that, I'm going to dive into uh, the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag to see what's on the minds of Alert Tribes members this morning while I'm trying to get motivated. Let's see if this will get me motivated. Alright, we're going to offer several comments of the day and I can't remember, a lot of comments coming in about the quote of the day from yesterday uh, that I borrowed from one of our uh, Sister Doomer channels about the quote, it is a mistake to assume that the net impact, the net impact of humanity on the biosphere is destructive. Yes. One more time. Here are a few of our Alert Tribes members weighing in on that comment. <clears throat> How about Laura Sartori? What a cowardly comment. Humans are fucked. Humans did it. We better all grow a pair and stop protecting our baby ass, delicate, fragile pussy egos from the truth. We did it to ourselves. Fucking own it. First step in healing our grieving is acceptance. There is no room for fear, and fear in the end times leads to insanity. There you go. How about Dwayne Isaacson? Dwayne Isaacson. I don't think we've ever heard from Dwayne. Uh, welcome to the tribe, Dwayne. <coughs> and for your first comment, your first comment ever gets featured here today. It's a mistake to assume that the net effect of humanity on the biosphere is destructive. Ha 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 ha! Well, except for that ain't fucking funny. What the fucking hell? I try so hard to find a ray of hope in this cluster fuck. I get the best weed I can find, smoke my brains into next week, and try to engage in hopium. Guess what? It doesn't fucking work. The truth is, we are so fucked. The defenders of civilization are even more deluded than you and I. And that is saying something because I sit here wallowing in my own hypocrisy, drinking whiskey distilled in an organic brewery and smoking weed grown organically under solar powered lights in some vain fucking attempt to escape the reality of what I was born into and have no control over. The net effect of humanity on the biosphere is ecocide, pure and simple. We are so fucked. And then we're going to hear back from our buddy William Flaherty, who we just heard from a few years ago. Of course, William was not going to let this pass by. Holy fucking shit, brother. Your brief meltdown expresses my entire existence. That fucking 80s band Twisted Sister put it best. Quiet riot in my head is a quiet riot 
eternally trying to break through to the surface only through years of military discipline and life's trials and tribulations am I able to contain myself. The fact that my granddaughters rely on me not being imprisoned temper my outrage. I'm at the end of my wits. It's almost like if you have nothing to say, it's almost like if you have nothing to say about overpopulation, the petroleum bell curve, or anthropogenic cause extinction, you have nothing to say. Talk about your dumbass Trump Russia collusion, yawn. Talk about Syria, yawn. Talk about Kanye West, fucking double yawn. Talk about your new I fuck pad, triple fucking yawn. Wake the fuck up, shitbags. There's a fucking storm coming, and trying to find a fucking app to tell you what to do about it. How about you just fucking die, bitch? Try using the app that shows you how to hang yourself. I know breeders are the fucking problem as much as the fucking petro companies cheering on breeders for more cars, more power plants, more i fucking patted phones. Full disclosure, I met my wife 33 years ago and she had three sons. I never had any children. I realized I raised this woman's children, this woman's three sons. Now, through them, I have five granddaughters. What the fuck is going to happen to them? Sure, I have years worth of supplies and knowledge of the land, but what was the fucking, but that was the fucking land I was brought up on. We live in a whole new world. How fucking brutal will it be when provisions expire and the fucking planet we love will not sustain growth we have spent so many years preparing for? When the fucking beans and rice are gone and you can't grow a fucking tomato, how much fucking tree bark can you eat when there are no birds to share life with? No squirrels, no fucking rabbits, no fucking earth worms. What the fuck am I going to do to save the beauty? What the fuck am I going to do? The biosphere, and rightfully so, will have the last laugh. And we're going to finish up uh, the comments of the day with Andreas Hofer. Oh my god, unbelievable. How dumb can you get? I cannot bend my brain around such stupidity. Is humanity in a stupor looking at the complete destruction of Mother Earth and then such an opinion in the minds in the midst of the biggest mass, ex mass extinction ever? Everywhere you look, you see the downfall of nature. Are humans totally blinded? Do we have to lose all the insects and birds? Aren't 75% respectively 40% loss in the last decades enough to recognize? Wake up and open your eyes, you clueless fucking morons. We are so fucked, people. And, uh, and the, uh, the, the captain of the channel I borrowed that, uh, that quote from just wants to make CE uh, CE just wants to make sure that that uh, Andreas and everyone else in the tribe realize uh, that the opinion reflected in the letter writer to CE's channel is not shared by the owner of the channel. And anyway, uh, I 
think we will wrap up the comments of the day with that very important disclaimer and come back at you <clears throat> with uh, I have received two emails from my Humpty Dumpty tribe Paul Ehrlich yesterday and he was sharing with me a couple of things that he found of interest and I'm gonna pass those along coming up in one minute. Bye guys.